Jesus. Only your name is worthy to be lifted up, God. Kun dit navn er værdigt til at blive løftet højt. Only your name, God. Kun dit navn. Not other than you, Jesus. Ingen andre end dig, Jesus. So this morning, God, we lift you up. Vi løfter dig op, Jesus. In this place, God. I det her sted. You lift up. You lift up. You lift up high. You lift up. You lift up high. My love, my love. You lift up. Tjener min pris Jeg giver dig lære, Jesus Jeg vil leve mit liv til lære for dig Vi løfter dig op, Jesus Bare løft ham op der, hvor du står Med din egen sang Bare lad strømme og levende vand flyde fra dit indre Tak, Jesus Syng en ny sang Sing a new song to him. Tag Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, boy, my for die. For do it that if I Yeah, but till we die. Yeah, we are die with me live. Yeah, we are die with me live. It could mean song, mean me live Jesus. Yeah, I'm a singer to die. La pris stiger op fra det her sted, Jesus. La pris og ære stiger op fra det her sted, Jesus. Vi er dit folk, far, og vi ønsker at tilbe dig. Vi ønsker at bræse med dig. Vi ønsker at ære dig, Jesus. Med vores liv. Wonderful. Wow. Vidunderligt. Praise God. Pris at være Herren. It's a real, real joy to be with you today. Det er meget glad for at være sammen med jer i dag. I want to thank uh, Pastor Kim and the rest of the team for the invitation. Jeg vil gerne takke Kim og resten af, af kirken for invitationen. Uh, I know my wife, she sends her love to you. Min hustru, hun sender også hendes kærlighed til jer. Uh, when we were here two years ago, da vi var her for to år siden, uh, on the Sunday morning, på søndag morgen, uh, 
Uh, we turned to each other and we said, this is like being at home. Og så vendte vi os til hinanden og sagde, det er ligesom når vi er hjemme. Uh, you know, the same heart. Det samme hjerte. Uh, I, I see in you a heart of worship. Jeg kan se, at I har hjerte af tilbedelse. Uh, uh, and we, we carry that, that same heart also. Og, og vi har også det samme hjerte. Uh, also a heart for the nations. Og vi har også et hjerte for nationerne. Uh, and, and it's great to see so many nations represented here. Og det er skønt at se så mange forskellige nationaliteter også repræsenteret her. Uh, tomorrow evening in the Bible Academy, I, I will be talking about going. Uh, I morgen på akademiet, der vil jeg tale om at uh, gå med frimodighed. Uh, I noticed the last part of the, the vision on the wall says send them to the lost. At den sidste del af jeres vision som står på væggen der send them to the fortabte. Uh, and every encounter we have with the Lord. Og hver eneste møde vi har med Herren. Uh, he comes and he reminds us to go. Så so kommer han og minder os om at vi skal gå. Yeah, that, that's why we pray that prayer here am I. Og det er derfor vi beder bønnen her er jeg. Send me. Send me. This morning, I've got on my heart to speak on the subject of worship. Uh, her til morgen, der fik jeg på mit hjerte at tale om emnet uh, tilbedelse. Uh, it, it also, almost in my mind, it is, I, I'm preaching to the converted. Uh, og jeg har det faktisk sådan, at i dag, der prædiker jeg til dem, der allerede er omvendt. Uh, you are a worshiping people. I er et folk, der tilbeder. Uh, but I, I believe it's always good to be reminded oh. of our call to worship. Men jeg tror det er godt at vi altid minder os selv om at vi kaldet til at tilbe Herren. Uh, I have a, a really good friend from South Africa. Jeg har en virkelig god ven som kommer fra Sydafrika. Uh, he's one of my closest friends. Og han er en af mine tætte venner. Uh, for many many years he tried to get me to go to South Africa. I mange mange år der prøvede han på at få mig til at besøge Sydafrika. Uh, there, there was only one problem. Der var kun et problem i det. Uh, he always invited me when it was my wedding anniversary. Han, han uh, fik mig altid inviteret lige præcis i de dage hvor jeg havde min uh, bryllupsdag. I, I said to him, I said, I can't come. Jeg sagde til ham, det er umuligt for mig at komme på de dato. I, I said, that day I need to be with my wife. Han sagde, den dag, der har jeg brug for at være hjemme med min kone. Uh, eventually, I think he understood the message. Til slut så forstod han budskabet. Uh, and he changed his conference from November to September. Og så skiftede han sin konference fra november til september. Uh, and four years ago, I was able to go into South Africa. Og for fire år siden der var jeg så i stand til at besøge Sydafrika. Uh, and I remember on the Sunday morning. Og jeg kan huske at den søndag morgen. Uh, he sent me to a church in one of the townships. Så sendte han mig ud af uh, ud og besøge en af kirkerne i townships. Uh, it, it, it was like many churches I've been to on the continent of Africa. Og det var lidt den var ligesom mange kirker jeg har besøgt på i Afrika. Uh, the the walls were little bits of wood that have been hammered together. Uh, og væggene bestod af lidt træ der var Hammer sammen. Uh, the roof was corrugated iron. Uh, og uh, taget det var jernplader. Uh, the, there were a few hole, holes in the walls and in the roof. Og der var nogle få huller i både i væggen uh, og i taget. Uh, and people had taken plastic bags and had put them in the holes. Og de havde stoppet hullerne til med plastikposer. Uh, it, it was an incredibly poor community. Det var virkelig virkelig et fattigt sted jeg var. Uh, Also they weren't very they weren't used to seeing a white face. Og de var heller ikke vant til at se en hvid mand. Uh, and so it was like almost everyone in the community wanted to touch me. Så det var næsten som om at alle i hele samfundet de ønsker på at røre mig. I think it was something about the hairs on my arm. Jeg tror det var noget med de hår jeg havde på armen, de gamle uh, røve. Uh, but I, I remember walking into this church. Og jeg kan huske at jeg gik ind i den her kirkebygning. Uh, and it was wall to wall people. Og der var folk fra væg til væg. Uh, it was definitely not made for covid days. Uh, og det var bestemt ikke lavet for covid restriktioner. Uh, there was zero social distancing. Der var nul social distance. Uh, people were almost sat on each other's folk, knees. Folk sad næsten oven på hinandens knæ. Uh, and I remember there was a carpet. Og jeg kan huske der var et gulvtæppe. Uh, 
uh, and this carpet that had just been laid on the earth. Og den her, det her gulvtæppe, det var bare lagt direkte oven på jorden. Uh, and so some parts of the church look like the Himalayas. Uh, så so en del af kirken den ligner ligesom Himalaya bjergene. Uh, and, and if you know me, you know that I like to walk around when I'm talking. Og hvis du kender mig, så ved du, jeg godt kan lide at gå lidt mens jeg prædiker. Uh, and, and so I had to watch where I was walking. Så so jeg var nødt til at gå mens jeg gik på det her gulvtæppe. Uh, because the Himalayas might trip me up. Fordi at Himalaya bjergene på det her gulvtæppe, de var så høje, at jeg kunne falde. But I remember that morning it was a church full of passion. Og jeg kan huske at den her morgen der kom jeg til en kirke der var fuld af passion. I, I remember there was just Lidenskab. an overflow in people's lives. Der var bare et overflod ind i menneskers liv. Uh, I, I remember getting my uh, phone out and, and I thought I'm going to capture a little bit of this on my phone. Og jeg tænkte mig selv, jeg må lige fange lidt af den her atmosfære på min telefon. Uh, and I know e- even now on days where I, I, I might be feeling a little bit low. Uh, og jeg ved selv nu, hvor jeg en gang imellem kan føle mig lidt lav. Uh, I, I just get that, that video on. Så ser jeg lige på den her video. Uh, and it reminds me of the overflow of a heart. Og det minder mig om det overflod, der var i deres hjerter. Uh, in worship to I, the Lord. I at tilbe Herren. And I remember being really struck by the worship that morning. Og jeg kan morning. huske, at jeg blev så ramt af lovsangen og tilbedelsen den morgen. On the Sunday evening, they took me to another church in the city. Søndag aften der tog de mig til en anden kirke jeg skulle prædike i inde i byen om aftenen. Uh, it was a very different kind of church. Det var en meget anderledes type af kirke. Uh, it, it was almost what you might call like a, a mega church. Uh, det var næsten det man kan kalde en mega kirke. Yeah, a very very large auditorium. En meget stor mødesal. Uh, I remember being taken into the room where they took the speakers. Og jeg kan huske at jeg blev ledt ind i det rum hvor tal de skulle være før mødet. I, I think that room alone was bigger than the church I've been in on the Sunday morning. Og jeg tror at det rum jeg var i den aften bare for for predikanten, det var større end det kirkelokale jeg prædikede om morgenen. Uh, it, it was a church full of technology. Det var en kirke der var fuld af teknologi. Uh, I remember looking uh, everywhere I looked in the auditorium. Jeg kan huske at overalt hvor jeg så rundt i lokalet. Uh, all that I could see was my face. Alt hvad jeg kunne se det var mit eget ansigt. Uh, that, that wasn't a great blessing to me. Det var det var ikke så stor en velsignelse for mig. Ja, yeah, it's a really strange experience. Det var en meget mærkelig oplevelse. Uh, but I remember. Men jeg kan huske. Uh, in the middle of the worship. At lige midt i lovsangen og tilbedelsen. Uh, the worship band just stopped. Så stoppede lovsangsgruppen. Uh, and suddenly from the heart of the church there came a sound. Og pludselig fra kirkens uh, lokale der kom der et, en lyd fra deres hjerter. Just, just as people lifted their voices. Ligesom folk de bare løftede deres stemme til Herren. And there was a sound of worship. Og det var en lyd af tilbedelse. It was the overflow of hearts. Det var et overflod fra deres hjerter. You know I believe that worship is about the overflow. Jeg tror at lovsang og tilbedelse det handler om at flyde over. As uh, sometimes in the United Kingdom people ask the question. Nogle gange spørger folk tilbage i United Kingdom. Uh, are you a cup half full person? Er du en uh, er du et glas der er halvt fuld? Or are you a cup half empty person? Eller er du en et glas der er halvt Full, eller halv tom. Uh, and of course the answer is I'm a cup overflowing person. Og selvfølgelig så svarer jeg altid jeg er et glas der flyder over. Uh, because for each of us we are overflowing Fordi people. for hver af os så skulle vi være overflods folk. Uh, I believe within each one of us there is a sound of worship. Jeg tror at inden i hver eneste en af os så er der en lyd af tilbedelse. Uh, and that sound is within us. Og den lyd den er inde i os. Uh, And that sound is waiting to break out of us. Den lyd, den venter på at bryde ud af os. The dictionary definition for worship. Uh, or, 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 or definition på lovsang og tilbedelse. Is extreme love. Det er ekstrem kærlighed. Extreme affection. Ekstrem uh, lidenskab. Extreme admiration. Uh, ekstrem uh, beundring. 
In other words, worship is extreme. Med andre ord, så er lovsang og tilbedelse noget ekstremt. Uh, have you noticed in, Christ, in the Christian world we're always talking about being balanced? Uh, har du lagt mærke til, at i den kristne verden så snakker vi altid om, om at vi skal være balanceret? Uh, I, I, I believe that we should only be balanced in terms of of we teach the whole truth of God's word. Jeg tror på at vi kun skal være balanceret når det drejer sig om at til at undervise hele sandheden fra Guds ord. Uh, but I believe our lives should be extreme. Men jeg tror på at vores liv skal være ekstrem. I believe our worship should be extreme. At vores tilbedelse skal være ekstrem. Uh, we are over the top people. At vi er helt over toppen. Uh, there is nothing balanced about us. At der ikke er noget der bare er afbalanceret når det uh, kommer til tilbedelse. The, the, there is, you know, culture doesn't come into worship. Kultur skal ikke komme ind i lovsang og tilbedelse. You, you, you know in UK culture I, we, we are very very quiet. I vores UK kultur så er vi meget stille. Uh, but I want to say this there is a culture greater than my culture. Men jeg vil gerne sige at der er en kultur der er større end min baggrundskultur. Uh, it is kingdom of God culture. Det er Guds rigs kultur. And in kingdom of God culture there is extreme. Og i Guds rigs kultur der er der ekstremer. I believe in our worship we're called to be over the top. Yeah, uh, jeg tror på at vores lovsang og tilbedelse skal være over kanten. You know, I, I love my football. Jeg elsker fodbold. Uh, in, in the United Kingdom we, we have two big teams in the city near where I live. I UK der har vi to store hold i byen tæt på der hvor jeg bor. Uh, we have Manchester United and we have Manchester City. Der har vi Manchester United og vi har Manchester City. Uh, at the moment the Manchester United fans are very happy. Uh, og i øjeblikket der er Manchester United fansene meget meget glade. Uh, because there is a certain man called Ronaldo. Fordi der er en mand som hvis nok hedder Ronaldo. Uh, who has returned home. Som er kommet hjem. Uh, they now call him CR7. No, no longer give him his name. De, de kalder ham ikke Ronaldo længere. De kalder ham CR7. Uh, they, they've all been buying the Ronaldo shirts. Alle har købt hans trøje. When he made his first appearance. Da han uh, optrådte for første gang på banen. Yeah, after the match. Efter kampen. No one would leave the stadium. Der blev alle på stadion. They just stayed and they sang and they sang de and they sang. De blev tilbage efter kampen og de sang og de sang og de sang. When he scored his first goal. Da han scorede sit første mål. Uh, no one stood in the stands and went. Så var der ingen der stod pænt og, og yeah. klappede lidt. Well, well done, Ronaldo. Godt gjort, Ronaldo. Good goal. Det var et virkelig godt mål. Ja, yeah, there, there were, there were men kissing men. Der var, der var men der kyssede men. I have to say, ugly men kissing ugly men. Der var grimme men der kyssede grimme men. Total strangers that throwing their arms around each other. Fuldstændig fremmede mennesker der omfavnede hinanden. Why are they doing that? Hvorfor gør de det? Because they worship Ronaldo. Fordi de tilbeder Ronaldo. Because they love Ronaldo. Fordi de elsker Ronaldo. Why did they stay for for what seemed forever? Hvorfor blev de tilbage efter kampen, hvilket virker som om de blev der for evigt? Because they were worshiping Ronaldo. Fordi de tilbærer Ronaldo. I believe it's a picture. Jeg tror på det er et billede of how our love is for the Lord. Hvordan vores hjerter skal være for Herren. We we do what we did this morning. We don't rush away from we, his presence. Vi vi gjorde det vi gjorde her til morgen. Vi skyndte os ikke at løbe væk fra hans nærvær. Uh, we we just want to stay with him. Nej, vi ønsker bare at blive med ham. We want to be with him. Vi ønsker at være sammen med ham. Yo, we we behave in extreme ways. Vi opfører os på ekstreme måder. Because of our love for him. På grund af vores kærlighed til ham. 
You see, we love because he first loved us. Vi elsker fordi han først elskede os. I, I love that song that we we sang this morning. Jeg kan lide den her sang vi sang her til morgen. That his love will always find us. At hans kærlighed vil altid finde os. I, I want to say to you today. Jeg vil gerne sige til dig i dag. You might try to run away from him. Det kan godt være du prøver at løbe væk fra Herren. Uh, you might try to hide from him. At du prøver på at gemme dig fra Herren. But his love will always find you. Men hans kærlighed vil altid finde dig. Ja, you know, we we only love him vi because he kun first ham, loved us. Fordi han først elskede os. And worship is a response to him. Og vores tilbedelse og lovsang er en respons til ham. I have a friend. Jeg har en ven. Uh, thank God. Tak, tak Gud for det. <laughs> It's good to have a friend. Det er godt at have en ven. <laughs> This friend he has five children. Den her man han har fem børn. Uh, and his youngest child was about four or five. Og hans yngste søn han var omkring fire eller fem år. Uh, and his youngest child came running into the room where he og, was. Og hans yngste søn kom løbende ind i det rum hvor min ven var. Uh, and my friend did what every parent does. Og min ven han, han gjorde ligesom alle forældre gør. And he turned to him and he, the first words he said. Og han vendte sig til ham og det første han sagde was what do you want? Han sagde til ham hvad hvad vil du have? Uh, because if you know children, you know children always want something. Uh, og hvis du kender børn, så ved du at børn de altid vil have noget. Uh, I I meet my uh, or before COVID, I used to meet my granddaughter at school. For for COVID started, så plejer jeg at hente min uh, barnebarn i skolen. Uh, she would come out of school. Hun uh, kom ud af skolen. She come running across to granddad. Og så hun løb over uh, skolegården til bestefar. Uh, her first words were never great to see you granddad. Uh, hendes første ord det var aldrig det er skønt at se dig bestefar. Uh, they were never I love you granddad. Ja, hun sagde aldrig jeg elsker dig bestefar. Her first words were always can I have an ice cream. Hendes første ord det var altid må jeg få en is. Parents, grandparents, forældre, bedste forældre. Yeah, we we know that our, our our children will always come wanting something. Vi ved at vores børn altid kommer til os for at få noget. So my friend, he said, "What do you want?" Så min ven han sagde, "Hvad vil du have?" You you can imagine how great he felt. Du kan forestille dig hvor fantastisk han følte. When his little boy, da hans lille dreng, says. Daddy, I just want to be with you. Hvor den lille dreng han sagde, far, jeg vil kun være sammen med dig. You can imagine how daddy felt. Du kan f- forstå eller føle hvordan den far han følte. You know, I believe our daddy is looking for that response. Og jeg tror at vores far han leder efter den samme respons. Like, like any good parent, he loves to give gifts to som, his children. Som en hver god far så elsker han at give gode gaver til sine børn. But he loves it when we come to him not for what we get, but because of who he men is. Men han elsker når vi kommer til ham ikke for hvad han giver, men fordi det han er. Because we love him because fordi he's our father. Vi elsker ham fordi han er vores far. You see worship is about relationship. Tilbedelse handler om en relation. Worship is about intimacy with uh, God. Tilbedelse handler om intimitet med Gud. Worship is about being just alone with him. Det er det handler om at bare være alene med ham. Uh, Charles Wesley from the United Kingdom. Charles Wesley som kommer fra England. Uh, he wrote a hymn. Han skrev en salme. And there was a line in that hymn. Og der er en linje i den sang. That said lost in wonder, love and praise. Eh, uh, fortabt i vidunderlig kærlighed og lovprisning. And worship is where we get lost in him. Og det lovsang det er der hvor vi bliver fortabt i ham. Nothing else matters. Intet andet betyder noget. Uh, everything else is insignificant compared Alt with him. Alt andet er ubetydeligt i forhold til ham. Worship is about our relationship with him. Vores tilbedelse er vores relation med ham. 
You know, often in life we live our lives through a microscope. Vi lever vores liv igennem en mikroskop. Uh, we we live in with the detail of life. Vi lever med detaljerne i livet. Yeah, how will things work out? Hvordan kommer det til at virke? Uh, what's going to happen? Hvad kommer der til at ske? What do I need to do here? Hvad har jeg brug for at gøre her? You know, so problems see, seem to just take control of so our lives. Så det er som om problemer, de tager kontrol over vores liv. But I believe the Lord wants us to look through a telescope. Men uh, jeg tror Herren han jeg tror Herren ønsker vi skal lære at tilbe igennem teleskop. Because when we look through a telescope things look bigger. Fordi når vi ser igennem teleskop så ser ting meget større ud. Uh, and I believe we need to see the bigness of our God. Og jeg tror vi har brug for at se Guds storhed. Uh, in the Psalms it says magnify the Lord I with me. Salmerne spår der står der Uh, lovpris Herren og ophøj ham sammen med mig. Uh, have you ever asked yourself the question, how do you make someone bigger who is already big enough? Har du nogensinde tænkt over, hvordan gør du en større, som allerede er stor? You know, how do we make him bigger? Hvordan gør vi Gud, som er stor, større? Uh, we, we know he fills the universe. Vi ved, han fylder universet. What we do is we make him bigger in our thinking. Det vi gør det er at vi kan gøre ham større i den måde vi tænker på. And we på. make him bigger in our heart. Vi gør ham større i vores hjerter. We we magnify him. Vi op vi vi gør ham ja vi vi op, vi forstørrer ham. Uh, uh, yesterday in the uh, in the Bible school. I går da vi havde undervisning på bibelskolen. I, I was talking about having a small devil and a big Jesus. Det talte jeg om at have en lille djævel, men en stor Jesus. And in worship we make him bigger. Og når vi tilber ham, så gør vi Herren større. We we focus our attention on him. Vi fokuserer vores uh, fokus på ham. We we make everything else in life smaller compared to him. Vi gør alt andet småt i forhold til ham. Three things about worship. Der er tre ting jeg vil nævne omkring lovsang og tilbedelse. Uh, this will not work in Danish. Det virker ikke på dansk. Uh, because each one of them starts with the same letter in English. Uh, på engelsk så starter de med det samme bogstav, men det gør de ikke på dansk. I, I only do that to show I'm a proper preacher in the UK. Jeg gør, ja, det, no, eneste grund til at jeg gør det der for at vise jer en god prædikant i England. The first thing is this that worship has an essence. Det første det er at lovsang og tilbedelse indeholder noget. You see most of the time we think that worship is what we have just done. Vi tror ofte at lovsang og tilbedelse det er noget vi lige har gjort. Uh, we we think about songs. <laughs> vi tænker på sange. Uh, we think about music. Vi tænker på musik. Uh, we think about raising our hands. Vi tænker på at løfte vores hænder. But I want to say the essence of worship is men, different. Men essensen af lovsang og tilbedelse er anderledes. Uh, the essence of worship is the surrender of our lives. Det er at vi overgiver vores liv til ham. Worship is where we say Lord I give you everything. Det er der hvor vi siger Herre jeg giver dig alt. Uh, worship is where we say I'm not the Lord of my life, you are the Lord of my life. Det er der, hvor vi siger, jeg er ikke herre i mit eget liv, det er du. Wor- worship tilbedelse. is where we just have that longing to know him. Hvor vi bare har den længsel efter at kende ham. It, it, it is where we say that we count all things rubbish. Det er der, hvor vi siger, at alle andre ting er uden betydning, altså som affald compared with the surpassing greatness of knowing I Christ Jesus. Det sammenligning med det langt større at kende Kristus Jesus. There is nothing that compares to der er him. Intet, der kan sammenlignes med ham. You know when you first meet Jesus. Da du når du først møder Jesus. Your life is ruined. Så er dit liv ruineret. Yeah, you, know, you can never go back. Du kan aldrig gå tilbage. Yeah, you, know, you can only ever take one step forward. Du kan altid kun gå et skridt fremad. Yeah, you, know, you can never take a step back. Du kan ikke tage et skridt tilbage. Not, nothing will ever satisfy you once you have tasted him. Intet andet vil nogensinde tilfredsstille dig, hvis du først har smagt ham. And worship is where we pursue him in our lives. Tilbedelse er der hvor vi forfølger ham i vores liv. 
It is where we devote ourselves det er der, to hvor him. vi uh, he, uh, hvad det, uh, hengiver os til ham. I'm 59 years of age. Jeg er 59 år gammel. Uh, for almost 40 years. Uh, og i næsten 40 år. I, I've been longing to know him. Så jeg er længtes efter at kende ham mere. But I want to say at age 59. Men jeg vil gerne sige at her, hvor jeg er 59. There is still more, more to discover. Så er der stadig mere at opdage. There are deeper places to go. Der er dybere at gå. There are higher places der er to go. højere at komme. There are further places to der reach. Der er længere at nå. There is always new revelation of him to receive. Der er altid nye åbenbaringer at få. And there is always a call to worship. Og der er altid kald til at tilbe Herren. And the wor- worship is the giving of my life to Og him. Og min tilbedelse er, at jeg giver mit liv til ham. And there are so many things that seem ordinary that are acts of worship. Der er så mange ting, som virker bare helt ordinære, som i virkeligheden er lovs- eller tilbedelseshandlinger. Let me say this that every kind word is a wor- act of worship. Hver eneste sødt ord du taler til en anden det er en tilbedelse af Herren. Uh, every time you encourage someone is an act of worship. Hver gang du opmuntrer nogen er det din tilbedelse. Every time you're generous is an act of worship. Hver gang du er gavmild så er det en en handling af tilbedelse. Every time you forgive and you bless and you release Hver is an t- is an act of worship. Hver gang du tilgiver og giver giver fri så er det en en handling af tilbedelse. That is the heart of worship. Det er hjertet i tilbedelse. It is the surrender of our lives det to Det er at vi overgiver vores liv til ham. The second thing is that worship has an expression. Tilbedelse har et udtryk. Uh, and this is what we usually think about when we think about worship. Og det er ofte hvad vi tænker på når vi snakker om tilbedelse. Uh, I, I, imagine what my marriage would be like if For, I ne- yeah. Forestil dig hvordan ægteskabet det ville være. Uh, if I never told my wife I loved her. Hvis jeg aldrig fortalte hende at jeg elskede hende. I mean what what a sterile relationship it would be. Hvilken stereotyp relation vi vil have. If I never did little acts of love for Hvis jeg aldrig her. gjorde små handlinger af kærlighed til hende. Yeah, you know, my my wife loves chocolate. Min kone hun elsker chokolade. Uh, but, but there is only one chocolate that she likes. Men der er kun én type hun kan lide. Uh, and that's English chocolate by Cadbury's. Og det er engelsk chokolade af Cadbury's. So when I'm doing the shopping, så når jeg handler, and I see a little bit of Cadbury's chocolate. Så ser jeg lidt af den her type af chokolade. I put it in the basket. Så putter jeg det i min ko. It, it is a little act of love. Det er en lille handling af kærlighed. Yeah, when she says is there any chocolate in the cupboard? Så når hun spørger efter er der noget chokolade i kurven i dag? Yeah, I say yeah, I got some the other day. Så siger jeg ja, jeg har faktisk købt noget den anden dag. In that moment she knows he loves me. I på det øjeblik der ved hun at jeg elsker hende. You know every day. Du I ved say, Hver I tell dag, her, I love her. Så siger jeg til hende, at jeg elsker hende. I'm so glad she also tells me she loves me. Og jeg er glad over at hun fortæller at hun også elsker mig. <laughs> And then I always say, well I love you more. Og så siger jeg til sidst, jeg elsker dig mere. <laughs> And she always says, well it's not a competition. Og så siger hun til mig, jamen det er jo ingen konkurrence. <laughs> But there has to be an expression. Men der må være et udtryk of love for relationship to prosper. Uh, for at forholdet det kan uh, for, vokse. Scripture is full of expressions of worship. Guds ord er fuld af udtryk af uh, tilbedelse. It, it talks about sitting before the Lord. Det taler om at sidde for Herren. Standing before the Lord. At stå for en Herren talks about lifting up hands. Det taler om at løfte hænderne til Herren. It talks about kneeling. Det taler om at knæle for Herren. Talks about lying prostrate. Det, han, det, det taler om at ligge på gulvet for Herren. It talks about jumping. Det, han, det, 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 det taler om at hoppe. Talks about dancing. Danse for Herren. It talks about crying. Det taler om at græde. It talks about laughing. At le. 
There are so many ways to express our worship. Der er så mange måder at udtrykke vores tilbedelse på. Uh, there isn't a right or wrong way. Der er ikke en rigtig og en forkert måde. In actual fact, I would say almost anything goes. Uh, jeg vil næsten sige, at alt det går. Uh, as long as there isn't sin in it. Uh, så længe der ikke er synd i det. Uh, and as long as we're respectful to other people. Så længe at vi respekterer andre mennesker. I remember in the UK. Jeg kan huske i England. Uh, we we saw quite a significant move of the Holy Spirit. Så so, så so vi en stærk bevægelse af Helligåndens kraft. Uh, and I remember the the Sunday morning it broke out. Jeg kan huske at den søndag morgen der brød det løs. Uh, and I had a close close friend. Jeg havde en en nær ven. Uh, they used to call us the revival twins. Uh, de plejede at kalde os vækkelses tvillingerne. Uh, we both look like famous British comedians. Uh, vi lignede begge to uh, berømte britiske uh, uh, comedy personer. Yeah, and so everyone referred to us as these comedians. Så so de refererede alle sammen til os som de to. Uh, but he he was holding the service together. Men, men han holdt det ligesom mødet sammen. Uh, and I was preaching. Og jeg prædikede. Uh, and we have met on the Wednesday night. Og vi havde møde som onsdag. Uh, and as we met on the Wednesday night, og som, I was leaving his house. Og som vi mødtes der onsdag aften, der mens jeg forlod hans hus. Uh, and I did the English thing. I went to shake his hand. Og jeg gik hen og tog ham i hånden og sagde farvel. Uh, and as we shook hands, we both fell og to the floor. Og som vi gav en anden hånd, så faldt vi begge to i gulvet. And we started rolling around og vi on the floor rundt. with laughter. Og vi grinede, og vi grinede, og vi grinede. Uh, we were just totally drunk in vi the Holy Spirit. Vi var fuldstændig fulde i den hellige ånd. Uh, I, I, I remember that uh, his driveway was what we call block paved driving. Uh, uh, han it, havde en indkørsel. Uh, it was a driveway with lots of sand on it. Der var masser af sand i indkørslen. Yeah, even though I had washed my hair. Så so, selvom jeg havde vasket mit hår. Uh, because I do have some hair. For jeg har faktisk lidt hår, baby. E- even though I'd washed my hair. Så so, selvom jeg havde vasket mit hår. It, it was like every day there was still sand coming out of so my hair. Så var det som om der stadigvæk var sand i mit hår hver eneste dag efter det. For my my friend, he he was He was drunk almost for two years. Uh, min ven der, han var fuld af den hellige ånd næsten i to år. Uh, I mean, he was a, a successful businessman. Han var en fremgangsrig forretningsmand. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, he would walk into the office. Og han uh, ville komme til kontoret om morgenen. Uh, and he would just f- fall to the floor. Og så ville han gå lige i gulvet. <laughs> And 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 all his uh, work colleagues, they said, have you got a problem with your ears? Og mange af hans kolleger, de sagde, har du problemer med dine ører? Uh, and it's affecting your balance. Uh, fordi vi kan se, det, uh, det har en effekt på din balance. Uh, and, and he said, the, he said, the only problem I've got. Og han sagde, det eneste problem jeg har. Is he says it's a problem that gets me up at three in the morning. Og han sagde, det er et problem, der får mig til at komme op om klokken tre om morgenen. Uh, uh, to pray for this world. Of ours. For a be for den verden vi bor i. Yeah, that, that, that people might know Jesus. At folk de må komme til at kende ham. And I remember this Sunday morning. Jeg kan huske den her søndag morgen. I, I preached on non-religious Christianity. Så prædikede jeg om ikke at være religiøs kristen. Because uh, we need to kick religion out of the church. Fordi vi må holde religion ud af kirken. <laughs> And we we need joy in the church. Vi har virkelig brug for glæde i kirken. Uh, and I remember at the end of the message. Og jeg kan huske der i slutningen af budskabet. Ja, yeah, yeah, my, my friend put some music on. Så so satte han noget musik på. Uh, and suddenly the, the, the church were all doing the conga around the church. Og pludselig så gjorde alle rundkreds uh, rundt omkring kirkens bygning. Uh, I'm sure in Denmark you have the conga. No. You don't know where where people. No, 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 no. Yeah, and goes on. Yeah. He goes on down. And, and you all go around yeah. there. Well, you know, the, the, the church, everyone's going around the church. Folk, de gik rundt omkring i hele kirken. Uh, and then the, there were some there were some men with big bellies. Og der var nogle folk, uh, der havde store maver. Uh, and they were bouncing off each other's bellies. Og de hoppede med maverne imod hinanden. 
Uh, and then there was someone on the stage. Og der var nogen op på platformen. Uh, and they got the music stand and they're waving the music og, stand og in og the de, air. De tog uh, lydanlægget og viftede rundt med det. Uh, and then I remember looking to the back of the og jeg church. Jeg husker jeg så tilbage i kirken. Uh, and there was a young woman who just got saved. Og det var en ung kvinde som lige var blevet frelst. And she was stood on a chair and she was. Og hun stod op på stolen og, og viftede med hænderne. And there were about three religious people. Og der var cirka tre religiøse folk. Who quietly made an exit out som, of the building. Som lige så langsomt bare forsvandt ud af døren. Uh, there's too much joy. Der er for meget glæde her, sagde de. Almost every expression was going on that Næsten morning. Næsten alle udtryk skete den her morgen. Uh, it was crazy. It was wild. Det var helt vildt. It was over the top. Det var helt vanvittigt. It was very extreme. Det var virkelig ekstremt. And I remember the new convert saying. Og jeg kan huske at den nyfrelste. She said this. Hun sagde sådan her. She said that is what church should be like. Og hun sagde det her det er sådan kirke det skulle være. You see within every person there is a cry of worship. Der et længst efter tilbedelse i hver eneste persons hjerte. And when people are exposed to to the sound of worship. Og når folk de er, er gjort bekendte med lyden af lovsang og tilbedelse. Then I actually believe it is attractive. Så tror jeg det er noget der er attraktivt for mennesker. To those who don't yet know Jesus. For dem som endnu ikke kender Jesus. The third thing. Den sidste ting og tredje ting is worship always has an effect. Det er at lovsang og tilbedelse har altid en effekt. Ja, yeah, we've seen that this morning. Vi så det den her morgen. Ja, yeah, that in the middle of worship God speaks. Er det midten af lovsang der taler Gud. And then as God speaks, God starts to work. Og, og som Gud han taler, så begynder Gud at arbejde. And worship changes things. Og lovsang og tilbedelse forandrer ting. I love the story of Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16. Jeg kan lide historien i Apostlenes Gerninger 16 om Paulus og Silas. Uh, Paul and Silas weren't balanced people. De var ikke balancerede kristne. Uh, they were extreme people. De var ekstreme folk. Yeah, they, they, they are arrested. De blev arresteret. Uh, they are kicked. De blev sparket til. Uh, beaten. Slået thrown into prison or cast in fængsel yeah, they're fastened in chains de er sat i lænker if that happened to you and me hvis det skete for dig og mig yeah, we, would we sort of sit in prison and we think this is really bad vil vi så sidde i fængsel og tænke det er virkelig skidt det her uh, and we'd feel really sorry for ourselves og have virkelig ondt af os selv and, and we'd think oh i'm hurting from oh, where they think, kicked oh, me oh det gør godt nok ondt der hvor de har sparket mig Yeah, but there was just something crazy about these men. Men der var bare noget vanvittigt ved de her to mænd. Uh, they had apostolic spirit within them. De havde en apostolsk ånd i dem. They, they said no matter what I'm going to praise him. Uanset hvad så vil jeg prise Herren. And, and so at midnight they're singing their hymns to Og the så Lord. Og ved midnatstid der sang de deres sange til Herren. Uh, and it says the prisoners aren't complaining the prisoners are listening. Og uh, fangevogterne de lyttede, de klagede ikke. And as they sing their praises. Og mens de sang deres tilbedelse. There is an earthquake. Så sker der et jordskælv. And the prison doors open. Og dørene åbnes til fængslet. I, I find it amazing if the prison doors had opened for me, I would have run through them. Ja, og jeg finder det helt vanvittigt, hvis de var åbnet for mig, så ville jeg have løbet igennem. Uh, but it says that Paul and Silas and everyone just stayed where they Men were. Men det står at Paulus og Silas, de blev der. <laughs> because they were men on a mission. For de de var men der var på en mission. And there was still kingdom of God business. Og de var stadigvæk uh, uh, optaget af at gøre Guds riges forretning. In in seeing the jailer come to faith I in Christ. Jeg ser fangevogteren han også kunne blive frelst. You know, our praise and our worship is about our perspective. Vores lovsang og vores tilbedelse handler om det vi kan se. They didn't have their eyes on themselves. De havde ikke øjne på sig selv. They had their eyes on the king and on kingdom Men de var festet på Jesus og hans rige. 
You know, when you praise and worship, things change. Når vi change. tilbærer, så forandres ting. Miracles happen. Mirakler sker. Life breaks out. Liv bliver forvandlet. We have a a church in the city of Manchester. Vi har en, en kirke i Manchester. Uh, it's now the largest church outside of London. Det er nu den største kirke uden for London. Uh, I, actually, it's just full of young people. And a full of young men. Uh, I mean, it's like all 20, 30 year olds. De er alle sammen 20, 30 år gamle. Uh, and and it has that energy that 20, 30 year olds bring to. Og den har den energi som 20, 30 år de gerne vil have. But in their early days, they men, were having a worship evening. Men i de tidlige dage af kirken så stod der havde de lovsangs aftener. Uh, and there was a young woman there worshiping. Og der var en ung kvinde der der tilbad Herren. And uh, and uh, as she were, was worshiping, she needed to go to the bathroom. Som hun var i den her tilbedelse, der hun nødt til at gå ud på toilettet. Uh, it can even happen when you're worshiping. Det kan da ske når du tilbeder. Uh, and so she went to the bathroom. Så hun gik ud på toilettet. Uh, and suddenly everyone heard this scream come out of the bathroom. Og pludselig hørte alle, at der var nogen, der råbte på badeværelsen. Uh, and so people went running to see what was happening. Så de løb ud for at se, hvad der skete. Uh, and when they got there, they saw the, this young woman screaming and shouting. Og da de kom derud, så så den her unge kvinde skrige og råbe. Her story was this. Hendes historie, det var. You know, before she met Jesus. Før hun mødte Jesus. She she felt she she was worth nothing in so life. Så hun at, at hun ingenting var værd. She said my life has no worth, no value. Hun sagde til sig selv mit, mit liv har ingen værdi og ingen jeg ja, ingen værdi. She taken a knife and she'd written the words worthless in her legs. Og hun har skrevet ordene med kniven på hendes ben øh, uden værdi. And that night as she'd worship. Og den nat mens hun tilbad Herren. She encountered the Lord. Så havde hun mødt Jesus. And when she went to the bathroom. Og da hun gik ud på toilettet. And she took her clothes down. Og hun tog sin bukser ned. And she looked at her leg. Og så på hendes ben. Her leg was perfect skin. Så var hendes ben perfekt skin. And she let out a, scr- a scream. Og det var derfor hun skreg. She was so shocked. Hun var så chokeret. You know, I believe that night she got two healings. Jeg tror den aften fik hun to helbredelser. She got a physical healing. Hun fik sin fysiske helbredelse. But also she was healed in her mo- Men hun emotions. Men også helbredt i, i hendes følelser. You see, when we worship, Når vi things tilbærer, change. Så forandres ting. Miracles break out. Mirakler sker. And you know, I believe we're called to be a worshiping people. Og vi er kaldet til at være et folk der tilbeder Herren. And so I know that's what you are. Så jeg ved det er det I er. That's what we've done this morning. Det er det vi har gjort den her morgen. And I just want to commend you and encourage you to stay worshiping. Så jeg vil bare opmuntre jer fortsæt med det. Allow the sound to come. Til at lyden at komme fra dit indre. There is a song inside of you. Der er en sang i dig. I, I I remember getting a phone call off my daughter. Jeg fik en opringning fra min datter. Uh, and with this, this will be my last story. Og det er min sidste historie. And she was living two and a half hours away. Hun boede to og en halv times kørsel væk. Uh, and 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 we got the message through from her. Og, og vi fik hendes besked. You know, saying that, sagde, that we have a sinkhole in our front garden. Hun sagde, vi har et 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 hul der er kommet i vores uh, forhave. Uh, and and of course she was worried about this. Og det var hun selvfølgelig bekymret over. Uh, and she was worried it would cost uh, thousands of pounds. Og hun bange for at det skulle koste right. altså tusindvis af kroner for lavet. Uh, and so as a parent we then were worried. <laughs> Så vi blev også bekymret som forældre. Uh, and we're thinking what are we going to do? Og vi tænkte hvad skal vi gøre ved det? Uh, and we're thinking uh, how much is this going to cost Og us? Og vi tænkte hvad koster det? Uh, and where are we going to move the money from to sort this oh, out? Hvordan skal vi hjælpe hende? That's what parents do. Det er sådan forældre de gør. Yeah, even when the children have left home. Selv når de er rejst hjemmefra. And I remember going to bed. Jeg kan huske, at jeg gik i seng om aftenen. And I was thinking all this, what are we going to Og do? Og jeg tænkte over oh, alle de her ting, hvad skal vi gøre? And I woke up in the morning. Og jeg vågnede om morgenen. 
And there was a song inside. Og så var der en sang inden i mig. Uh, it was a song in tongues. Og det var en, en sang i nye tunger. Uh, and I just started to sing. Og jeg startede med at synge i nye tunger. And the more I sang out this Og jo mere jeg sang sangen, song, the more peace came into my heart. Jo mere fred fik jeg ind i mit hjerte. Uh, and faith and assurance. Og tro rejste sig. And by the end of the day. Og i slutningen af dagen, all the circumstances had worked out. Så var alle uh, omstændighederne blevet løst. Uh, and the building company had agreed to pay for all the repairs. Og byggefirma havde lovet at betale det hele. Circumstances had changed. Omstændighederne forandres. I want you to know there is a song inside of you. Jeg vil gerne at du skal vide der er en sang inde i dig. It is a song of love. Det er en kærlighedssang. A song of victory. En sang af sejr. A song of deliverance. En sang af frihed. It is a song of healing. En sang af helbredelse. It is a song of freedom. En sang af frihed. There is a song within you. Der er en sang i dig. There is a sound you make when you utter no words. Som uh, der kommer fra dig når du ikke engang udtaler ord. A sound of faith. En lyd af tro. And I want to encourage you. Så jeg vil bare opmuntre dig. To be a person who lets that sound out. Og være en person der lader den lyd komme ud. In the name of Jesus. I Jesu navn. Amen. Amen.